I know a lot of times it, it seems like a broken record, but lower back pain, cheerleading. When I see you guys in the clinic, when I get messages on Instagram, and I get messages through YouTube uh, and Facebook, back pain, back pain, back pain. Today I wanna to show you two exercises that can address a specific type of back pain that you guys are more prone to getting than your parents, and I'll explain why you tend to get it more than they do, and give you some tips on how to fix it. Stick with me. There's a massive difference between the spine of an adult and the spine of a young athlete. And the major difference is you guys have more bones. Believe it or not, you've got way more bones in your total spine than we do, our parents or, or your coaches. And the reason is your spine doesn't fully mature until you get to around your mid, early to mid 20s. A very common area for pain in our lower back is around the sacrum or what's called the SI joint. Now what makes this different is adults have one solid shield shaped bone in the lower back that when you feel back there, it's big, it's hard, it's right in the middle of your lower back. Now for kids or young athletes, that big shield shaped bone is five separate segments that just haven't fused together yet. And they will in a few years, but for now you've got five movable segments versus one solid one. And so because of this, this higher amount of movable segments, it tends to be an area where we can get too much movement and it can cause lower back pain. So today I wanna to show you guys what are called some SI resets or SI joint resets that can help with having or help with fixing that pain that's right around here. It's usually a pinpoint pain that somebody can point to. It hurts right there. Sometimes it may feel tender. And whenever we move, a lot of times pain will be felt when I'm leaning back or if I've, if I've been sitting for a while and I go to stand up, we'll feel that pain there. So we're gonna show you our two exercises that you can do to kind of reset the pelvis, kind of work the bones a little bit, kind of jostle them back into place. You may hear a couple of clicks or pops in the back when you're doing these, uh, but a lot of times it can be really fast, instant relief, okay? So the first one we're gonna do is our traditional or true SI joint reset. So laying on our back, we're gonna brace our core we're gonna bring our knees up to about 90 degrees with our shins parallel to the floor. Now, from here, we're gonna take one hand, grab the back of one leg, and we're gonna take our other hand and put it on the thigh of the other leg. And what we're gonna to try to do is push with this leg, push forward, and pull up with this leg, but we're using our hands as resistance to stop that from happening. So it looks kinda of like this. And then we would shift to the other side, back and forth. And your goal is to apply pressure down and pull up, but don't let the legs move. Push and pull, push and pull. And with these, we can do repetitions or we can try to do some static holds. I find that doing the repetitions tends to be a little bit more effective because again, we're trying to get the pelvis to torque underneath us. We're trying to get a little bit of this torque action without moving the legs. And what that'll do is it'll help to reset or kind of jostle those joints in the lower back on either side. Now, one other thing that we can do here is work on the adductor muscles or the inside part of the leg and create pressure inward, but again, not letting our legs move. So we would take our hands here, we would squeeze our two fists just like that and relax. And again, squeeze and relax, squeeze and relax. If that is too challenging to hold that position, you can do this one seated, where you would take here, your two fists side by side, feet together, squeeze, feeling tension build here, and potentially feeling some shifting in the pelvis, either in the front or in the back. Now these can be used where I find them to be most effective is for folks that have pain in the mornings when they first get up. So your first step out of bed, we start to feel it. We can use these two exercises before we even hit the ground, before our feet even hit the floor. While we're laying in the bed, we can work on push-pull, push-pull, and then swing our legs over to the floor and work on our knee squeezes with our two fists in between, squeeze, 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 until we feel a little bit of resetting in our SI joint. Adding these in in the morning a lot of times is very helpful. And if you're feeling discomfort during exercise or cheer activities, Really quick laying down on the ground, working on doing this reset can be extremely helpful and help to get rid of that lower back pain that falls on either side of our pelvis. Thanks so much for joining me for this video. I hope these two exercises to do a little pelvis or SI joint reset 
are helpful in getting rid of that pesky low back pain that's right on the side, like right there. I can point to it with a finger. It's so annoying. I know you guys have it. I've had it before and it really is a pain in the, well, you know. If you'd like more videos on how to fix lower back pain, click the link above. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel, hit that bell for notifications so you know when we come out with new videos, which we're doing all the time to make cheerleading more fun and less painful for people just like you. We'll see you soon.